Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. Sorry, I got booted off of Facebook for some reason. But I'm here now. Hopefully, if you were looking for me before, you'll come back. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day here. Oh, it's actually really windy. But it's beautiful. So... All right, so today we're going to continue playing with the Gorgeous Posies card kit. Um, I figured I'd do one more Facebook Live with this kit because it is so beautiful and I want to get all the cards made up. So this is one of the kits available in the annual catalog. It is... The kits are all right at the beginning of the catalog. So this one is not an all-inclusive kit, which means that the stamp set and the kit are sold separately. So you have the kit, it makes 16 cards for each of four designs. Hi Shannon! Um, for each of four designs, and then you can buy the stamp set separately, and it's $26, this is $44. But the cards are beautiful. So today I'm going to make up two more cards and I did some gold pieces that I'll show you what I did. Here's the gorgeous posies. This is the stamp set that coordinates with it. And I think I used sayings from different stamp sets, but um, I'll show you the cards that we've been making this week. They do come with these beautiful envelopes which are purple posy and I think Highland Heather. So let's start with the four that I did exactly as they were in the catalog or in the little brochure. If I can find them. So there was this pink one with the ribbon. The card kits come with the 16 bases and the card bases have white inside so you don't need to add an insert. And then this is a second layer that gets glued on top. So there's that one. Wishing you comfort and peace at this time. I love that saying. So there's one that's soft sea foam. Highland Heather. Mm, that was a one that we did a little fancier. Celebrating your day. And this is I haven't looked yet at the mini catalog. This is um, Blushing Bride. I will tell you, Shannon is saying that she couldn't pull herself away from the new mini catalog. And this is Highland, this is Purple Posy. If you're a demonstrator, you have access to the new catalogs before your customers do. And part of the reason is that you can make up samples and play with the products before um, the catalog goes live so that you can have some samples ready. So if you're a demonstrator, today we got to look at the new, we used to call it the Christmas catalog or the holiday catalog. Now they're calling them mini catalogs. And this catalog will be available to customers starting in August, which is earlier than usual. It used to be September. So Stampin' Up! has changed their catalogs. This is like a little side commercial here. The annual catalog is the one that lasts a full year. And then now they have two mini catalogs and each mini catalog will be six months. But because this is the transition year, this, for, this next mini catalog uh, will only start in August and go to December. But the last mini catalog, or the occasions catalog we used to call it, did start in January and went to June. So this one is actually only good for 11 months this year, and then they'll be all in sync with the new catalog, with the annual catalog and the mini catalogs. So, having said that, if you're a demonstrator, you get to pre-order starting, um, I think next week, July. In Ju you can pre-order in July, and then customers can start ordering from the mini catalog in um, August. And so the mini, the next mini catalog will have fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. And having said that, I am going to be offering my Christmas in July card class. And I'm just putting together the details on that. Hi, Cindy. But I wanted to see the new catalog first to see what I will be offering. 
So that will be in July and I will be using some products and then I, I do another one in August so that you can get a head start on your projects. And if you think that might interest you and you might want to join, there is a joining special on right now. They don't often do a summer joining special, but they have one on that when you join, it is $125 and you get to choose $165 worth of products from the annual catalog it would be right now. And no tax, no shipping. And the bonus is you get to pick any bundle from the catalog. It can be a stamp set and punch bundle or a stamp set and die bundle. And some of the bundles are over $80, so that's a pretty sweet deal. So you would get, let's say you ordered a $75 bundle, you would get over $200 worth of products from the catalog for one, is it 125 or 135? And no tax, no shipping. All of a sudden I forget. It's always in the back of the catalog where it says how to join, 135. So for 135, you get um, $165 worth of products and you could pick this kit and the stamp set and you still have lots of, you still be able to pick lots of other things. Okay, so those are the first four cards we made. Then the next day we did two a little bit fancier. So we did these two. And then today I'm gonna go a little crazy with the gold. So those were the next two. And then yesterday we went off the grid and used the stamp pad and paper and made these two, which I think are really pretty. I like both of those. And then now today we're going to make two more using some card bases and some of the gold laser cut uh, paper. And I'm gonna show you what I did to it. So let's get this out of the way. I don't even think I grabbed my bases yet. And this kit comes in this beautiful box. Like who would not love to get this box? It's so pretty. So let me grab, I think I want a purple. Cause I told you I was doing a purple card. Oh no, don't tell me I have no purple. All right, I might not be doing a purple. Say a pink and a green. Oh, I thought I had another purple. Let's do pink and purple. All right, I'm gonna leave these little pieces here cause I'm not sure if I wanna use any of them yet. I definitely do not want that, but I do probably want my ribbon and this gold twine. Okay. Get all this, over. oh, so we need this one, I think for that. And then for the pink one, I need a pink. So it comes with a card base. Oh, thanks, Cindy. And then these that you can put whichever ones you want. So I'm gonna put the purple one. And it's hard to see, but it looks like it's got little watermarks on it. It's the really, really pretty. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right. So I've gone ahead and I've die cut. Is that, yeah, that's Blackberry Bliss. I've stamped and cut out flowers that are Blushing Bride, Blackberry Bliss, Highland Heather, um, Petal Pink. And I've gone ahead and heat embossed the insides with the little sprinkle stamp set. Your town of 700, COVID is rampant through it? Wow, where are you? Where do you live, Lisa? And I think it's down in the state somewhere. Anyways, this one, I don't know what happened, but it's got little flecks more than I wanted, but it still looks pretty. So I've got these four colors. I made two of each. So that's gonna be part of what we do. And I'm, you know how I roll. We're gonna be designing as we go. Then what I did was I was looking for some little gold sprigs. And I know I can use these ones from the Forever Fern. I could just cut them out in gold, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I looked through all of the elements in the Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. Whoa, I'm just about spilt my drink. And you can see all the different ones. So I picked the one that I thought would be good, uh, be able to cut up and to go around the backs of the flowers. 
I was also looking at these to see if any of them would be okay. These are a bit finicky, but maybe this one. I've used a couple of them already. This one might be good. That one's too intricate. That one, maybe. And I'll show you what I did with it so you'll understand what I'm talking about. Because you probably think I'm rambling. Mane. Oh my gosh. See, that's what they're worried about. Your little town is probably perfect. And then peop other people came in and did not take precautions. That's so sad. I hope you don't have it. Okay, back to my cards. Hi, Pat. So back to my card. So I took this one, which is really pretty, but when you use this, it makes one card. So what I did is I went and looked at where were the obvious spots that I could cut. I'm not gonna cut up another one, but like, let's say here. So I just snipped it away and I didn't want two big pieces. Uh, I think I went down here, here. There's some obvious places where you can cut here. And then I ended up and I cut down to the middle. I ended up with all these little pieces that look kind of ugly right now, but they're gonna look really pretty on the card. So all these little pieces that I can use on my card. Then I took the real, look how many pieces I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I took the really big fern that was this one, the biggest one. That's really big to use on a card. It would be like a feature element on a card. So I took it and I cut off the top and then I just went down and cut little pieces. Now some of them you have to go back and, well you don't have to. I went back on some of them and cut the little edges to make sure that it still looked like leaves. But really when that's behind a flower, you're not gonna notice if one little leaf is not perfect. Anyway, so look how many pieces I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's good. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, because I really wanted to, I started out with vellum. I might use some vellum, but I'm not sure. And then I just wanted it to be gold, like gold is the feature. So I went ahead and I took one of, um, not all of the shapes. No, I just used two shapes, the circle, to a friend that makes me smile. My thoughts are with you. You can do this. And love and thanks to a dear friend. Greetings that I thought would look nice with this card because it is more feminine, I would say. Hello, Kathy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this piece to our base. And I'm just gonna use my white glue And I want to decide which way I want to have my flowers. Um, I think maybe like this. I think I'll do this card sideways. So portrait. So this is a really nice kit that comes with these pieces already done. And then I've added some other elements. But it does have these little flowers that I might add, but I want to go big. Okay. So now I think I want to use a Blackberry Bliss on this one. So I think that'll look nice there. Maybe this greeting down here. No, I want to tuck it up there, I think. You don't want to cover up too much of the flowers because they're so pretty. How about maybe like that? And we can layer up. So we can go all Blackberry Bliss or we could put some pink in there. Oh, purple, maybe Blackberry Bliss and purple because that's kind of what they had here. Now I want to make sure I'm not covering up my sentiment. Um, I might switch this out for the round one. To a friend that makes me smile. Yes, I like that better. Okay, so I think I might even want to put three flowers on this one. Okay, I like that. Now what I'm going to do, so that's going to be my basic arrangement, and we'll, we'll wait and see. I don't think I need those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose some of my elements, 
and add them to the back of my flowers. And I might add one here as well. Let's just see how that's gonna look. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, so let's take our first one. So I know this one's gonna be going up, so I need to make sure that, I already have some gold here, so I probably wanna shoot it up over here. And I can't go too far. because I don't want it going off the edge. I'm gonna put a little bit of white glue on the back of this because it gives me a little bit of room to play with. But be careful with the white glue because if you get it on the front of your gold, it doesn't look good, it's messy. I wanna get as much height out of these as I can. So when I use the white glue, I can push it up to get maximum height without seeing this piece. I don't wanna see this solid gold piece okay that's nice okay I like that so I think that one's ready I'm gonna tip it over and let it dry um, first I'm gonna see where I want to put my gold here so for this one I want to have it shooting out over here now um, let's try this one we can also Put more than one. So there. See, I don't want to see those little dots. So I'm being careful. That's what I like about the white glue. Okay, I like that. And I might put two on this one. I want to save some for my other. Oh, let's put one of these. Yes, I like that. I'm going to use a glue dot on this one. So when you put a glue dot, remember you put it on the front and then you just add it where you think it's going to look good. Okay, so let's check and see how it looks now. So we got Blackberry Bliss, we got this one, and we'll decide which ones we're going to put up and down. Alright, and then let's do this one. So another Blackberry Bliss. And no, I don't like that, but I think I want this one. See how that fits almost perfectly right behind there. So I slide it up as much as I can without being able to see through to the back. And then I have this little double one. I think will be perfect. So let's add a glue dot. Put that on the front. Hi Lynn. Did you get any rain in Manitic yesterday? I don't think we got any. Okay, so now I'm kind of ready to put these on, but now we have to decide what we're going to do for a ribbon. I think for this one I'm going to do my double ribbon with the gold and the purple and put it at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to run out of this purple and then I'm going to cry because I love it. I'll just have to buy another kit. The kits are fun because even if you don't have a lot of stamping supplies, you get everything you need in the kit. For this one, you would have to just get glue extra and if you, well, you need some ink as well. But there are some kits that have everything in it that you need. So I'm tying four strands to get my purple and gold bow. Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty. And then of course we know our little trick about getting the gold to unravel, which I think is a really pretty look. So that's gonna go down here. Okay, I like it. A Little bit of glue here. Just hate covering any of it up. It's so pretty. We want to go over fairly close to the edge. Make sure that's straight. Okay. Then we're going to add our purple one, our other purple one, Blackberry Bliss, actually. 
making sure that we are staying within the confines of the card so you can put it in an envelope. And then we have our, our light purple. So I think I'm gonna put this one flat. We don't want everything raised up. That would be too much. And you wanna make sure that you're angling your flower so that you're not covering up your greeting but going fairly close because I am putting three flowers on. And I think I'm gonna raise the other two up with dimensionals. So dimensionals are, oh, it poured a manatee. Oh, that's good. I don't think we got much rain here. I'm gonna put the Blackberry Bliss ones on first because I want the purple one to kind of sit up on top. Dimensionals are like foam with glue on, with adhesive on both sides. I know the first time you start card making, there are so many different adhesives and names. And when I would say, bring your adhesive to class, People would email me and say, what is adhesive? And you know that there are a lot of adhesives in when you're card making or scrapbooking or anything. Okay, I like this, it's gonna be pretty. So this is just the same card kit, but just taking, hmm. adding some elements from the stamp set. Now we have our bow that will finish it off. I think the bow there will be good. And I'm gonna put a couple of glue dots because this is a pretty substantial bow and I do not want it falling off when someone gets it in the mail. There's our first card. And maybe for the second one, we'll see if we want to add vellum. That is so pretty. It's just so dainty. And I really like the gold accents. And you really get a lot more bang for your buck when you cut it all up like that. Okay, so let's tuck this one over here. I think you can still see that, yeah. And our next one is the purple one. So we're gonna do the same thing. So this is the, the front that comes in the kit, comes with 16, you can make 16 cards, which is a lot of cards. During COVID time, as you know, my mission to make a card, send a card, and seeing as it's going on a little longer than maybe we thought, um, it's certainly a nice time to send out cards. And it can just say, just thinking of you. That's a bit crooked. Okay, all right, so let's try using this one this time. We have a little bit more space to play with. Uh, love and thanks to a dear friend, I like that. You can do this is also a really nice one. And my thoughts are with you is another beautiful one to use. All right, so we use the Blackberry Bliss on this one to match that. And there is Blackberry Bliss on this one as well, but I think I'm gonna do purples and pinks on this one. So let's grab a couple, throw them on, and see how we like it. So I think this is gonna go up here. And I wonder if maybe we can try putting a little bit of twine behind it. I'm not very good at doing this. Some people do it and it looks so pretty. I do it and it looks kind of like, well, let's try. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. So the idea is you just take a bunch and I'm going to put a little bit of tape and then you put your twine kind of where you want it. Well, not kind of where you want it. You put it where you want it. Spread it out a little bit. And then that's gonna go on top. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop this up. I wanna make sure that's down really good. Kind of glue it in place here. That'll dry and keep it in place. So I'm gonna add dimensionals. Well, thanks, Kathy. 
this kit makes up such pretty cards and you just add a little bit of heat embossing so I did heat emboss with gold okay I want to make sure I get this straight I'm looking at it from a weird angle okay yeah I like that so then you just kind of play with these to get them exactly where you want them it's supposed to be subtle okay so I did heat emboss this which is using an instead of an ink pad you use actually a glue pad and you add embossing paint, uh, powder and then you heat it and it's really cool it turns gold so I felt like these ones needed to have some gold okay so we're just gonna build on what we have here this one might need four maybe three pink and a purple that might be too many okay so let's go and add some gold to these I can't decide how much I want yet so we're going to put this one behind again making sure that we can't see it but that we get it as high as we can so that you can see all of the elements all right so that's gonna go in maybe here We'll just kind of do a little ring around. So this purple one, I'm going to get them going down. There we go. I love this stuff cut up. You do have to be careful with the white glue though, because it doesn't look pretty. I think I want to add another one to this. And I'll add it with a glue dot. Another one of those little sprigs. And your hands get really sticky. There we go. I think that's stuck. My hands are really gluey right now. And then this one, we're going to work out of this little nook right here. So we have a couple left. We can always use more than one element. Okay, that's pretty. And just seeing, I think I'll save those ones and I'll add a glue dot. I'll put this behind. I might put two of these for this one or maybe the middle one. We'll see. Yeah, I like that. This one seems more subtle and soft than the other one, but still very pretty. Maybe you can always tuck, because I have glue dots just down the middle. Oh, I have glue there. You can also tuck. Oh, I'm going to cut this off. I left it on just in case, but no, I don't like that. It looks too random. Ah. Okay, I think I've got enough bling on there. Oh, you know what we have to add too is our little diamonds or gold things. We might want pink there, we'll decide. You can help me decide. Okay, so I like it like this. We have gold going here up over the sign. So this one needs to be popped up. And the reason is I don't want the flower here. It has to be the same height as are same. So I'm going to add two dimensionals. Think about where you want the dimensionals because I don't want them on top of this. So I want them fairly back and I'm putting them down lightly because I want to make sure that's where I want them. Yeah, that's good. So now I'll peel them off. So they're sticky on both sides. So you just put it on one side, decide where you want it, and then put it on the other side. I want it up as far as I can though. Okay, this one I'm gonna put flat and then I'll raise up this one. So I'm just gonna add a bit of glue to the back of this. Doesn't look pretty from the back, but that doesn't matter because you don't see the back. And Okay, and then we'll pop this one up. So we need two dimensionals for that.
kind of overcast out right now. Hopefully we get some more rain. My grass is crunchy. Okay, so I'm doing this one so I angle it over here to fill up the space. And I don't want to cover up this one, but I do want it fairly low, or do I? I want it kind of a sweep. I'm just going to lay it and see if I like it. I think a little bit lower. There, and I'm going as close to the edge as I can. Okay, that's pretty. I like it. Now let's add a little bit of bling. So for this one, we're definitely going to add gold. Slide those out of the way. And these come in four different sizes. So decide where you want them. And And you know me, I like to put three or five. So let's go with three. So there's that one. And this one I think we could probably use the champagne rhinestones because the card is pink. And they do pick up the gold. It's almost like they're a pinky gold, rose gold, champagne. And I'm going to pick up a bigger one and put it down here. Okay, so that's our two cards from today. Let's review now the ones that we have. So this is the beautiful box that the kit comes in. And you get all the supplies you need to make 16 cards. Order and information is always on my blog. So let's review the ones that we made first. So these are the ones, oh, and they also have beautiful envelopes to go with them. We'll just put them behind here so you can see. Wouldn't you love to get that in the mail? To a friend that makes me smile. Now who would not like to receive that in the mail? Just, okay, here. So here's the four, if you make it exactly like the kit suggests. Celebrating your day. So these greetings are in the stamp set, the Posy stamp set. Wishing you comfort and peace at this time. Really pretty. So these elements come with it. The twine comes with it. This ribbon comes with it. These little pieces. You get everything you need to make these cards. I've added a few things like the rhinestones. Get well soon. Again, from the kit. And for a very kind and thoughtful friend. So these are the four that come in the kit. So we'll put them over here. And then the next day we just stepped it up a little bit and I did these two. So I added one stamped flower that I cut out. Oh, thanks Lynn. I added some gold elements from that specialty designer series paper and this gold twine, which is from a different twine set. And then I st stepped it up with same thing fussy cut these flowers out, stamp them, and I did heat emboss them in gold, added some little gold gems and one little gold element. So that was a little bit of gold. So that was the second day. And then yesterday, we took the same set, but I didn't use the card bases. Instead, I used the stamps. We tried the masking technique so that you knew how to get your leaves on without covering up your flowers. And we did these two cards. So I did use some elements from the kit. Again, a little touch of gold. And on this one, this beautiful silver or gray shimmer ribbon. So that was the next day, yesterday. And then today, I decided to go really gold. So remember, we took that one element, two elements actually, from this beautiful laser paper. So we took this one, cut it all up, and this one, and cut it all up. So we got a lot of bang for our buck. Oh, is that right? Big, whatever. We got a lot, <laughs> we got a lot of elements. And then I used the twine again for this one to add a little bit underneath. Three flowers, lots of gold, and the gold dots for this one. And then 
Again, lots of gold, gold heat embossed, gold and purple twine for that one. So I would say the purple posy, the gorgeous posies card kit is a good buy. You know that show where they say, is it a buy? Let me know if you think it is a buy. Thumbs up if you think this kit is a buy. I think it's a buy. I've made so many beautiful cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I still have six cards left that I can make. And even after I make the six cards, look at all the materials I'll have left over. They always give you way more than you need for your kit. So you'll have little flowers and embellishments to use on your other, um, other projects. And the price point on this kit is $44. And then the stamp set is $26. And you would you might have ink at home that's the right colors. But um, kits are really fun because if you're going away or you're going to the cottage, you can just grab your kit and you know everything you need is going to be in it. Well, you have to remember to bring your block. I always forget to bring a block to the cottage. So that's those are my two projects for today. Tomorrow I will not be playing with this kit, but I will finish up the other cards because I think this would be a beautiful gift to give somebody who maybe doesn't craft. If you opened this up and there were 16 cards, even if you gave them eight cards, um, I think that would be a beautiful gift. The box is so pretty. So thumbs up if you think, if you liked this kit. We have a few people still watching. So thank you for joining me in my studio. I'm just waiting a second to see if I get any thumbs up. I hope you're joining me on my mission to make a card, send a card, because during these unusual times, a card in the mail can really make the difference in someone's day, and it's a little act of kindness that can really show someone that you're thinking about them and you care. And we all know that everyone wants to feel appreciated. So a little card in the mail, I think, would be a really nice touch. So. Uh, if you're interested in ordering that kit, it is on my website. I will put a blog post up tonight that has um, the measurements. You don't need measurements for the card bases, obviously they're already made, but I will add the measurements for these two cards because actually even the ones I gave you yesterday were wrong. And I will include all the products that I've used in making these cards because they're not all in the kit. These ones, they're all in the kit. These ones I have added some additional elements um, to just pop them up and give them a bit more of a wow. All right, thank you for joining me today and we'll see you back here tomorrow, Thursday at three o'clock. Have a great day and thanks for joining me.